Good morning. Good morning. Can you guys hear us? Give us a thumbs up if you can hear us. Can you guys hear us? Yes. Okay, great, great, great. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Good to see y'all this morning. Hallelujah. Come on the broadcast. We ask you to like, tag, and share. Share, tear, tear, uh, share, tear. share the broadcast. Tag somebody with their name in the comments. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Lord. It's Monday morning. Trying to get Holy it Spirit activate. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm trying to get it together. Trying to get it together this morning. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you, saints. This is the day that the Lord has made. And like always, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We're so honored, so privileged to be before you on this wonderful Monday morning. God bless you. In the month of December, we're almost to the end of the year. And we are so grateful that God has allowed us to be here uh, in this time, in this space that we are in right now. Truly, our God is an amazing God. And we thank him. We bless his holy name. And we give him what's due to him. He is good. He is merciful. He's a wise, he's a kind God. Glory to God. I thank you for allowing me to be here today. The Bible tells us that we live, move, and have our very being. I thank God that I'm moving this morning. I thank God that I'm breathing this morning. I thank God that I have, I'm in my right mind this morning. Hallelujah. In him, I live, move, and have my being. I thank the Lord. So God bless you, saints. We thank you and welcome to another edition of How Shall We Respond? Hallelujah. As always, come in. We ask you to put somebody's name in the comments that you know that needs a word. Somebody that you know that needs prayer. Put their name in the comments. Let them know that those two light-skinned people are on again. On. And they want to pray for them and God has a word for them that's tailor-made for them on this morning. Hallelujah. So God bless you, saints. Uh, we'll do a quick, I uh, just want to greet you this morning. Centoya Harris, Tashika, Sister Brockington, Nancy White, Sister Jenkins with us this morning. Cynthia Harris, Jadon, good to see you too. Uh, Jalisa Buford, Aunt Hannah, Devontae, uh, Stephanie, Stephanie Franks. Uh, Sister Moss, Keisha Stanley, God bless you on this morning. Good to see y'all. Uh, if you have not greeted us, just give us a greeting this morning. We want to greet you. Uh, just drop a, just say good morning. Hallelujah. Listen, uh, we are so grateful just to be here. And uh, listen, we have, um, we're just going to be led by the Holy Spirit on this morning as uh, he will give us what to say. And we, we're so grateful and so appreciative just to be here. Uh, we are in our adjustment series. Hallelujah. We are in a, a place where God is giving us instructions and he wants us to change some things and make some adjustments. Good morning, Sister Campbell. Good to see you this morning. God wants us to give us some adjustments uh, in order to take us to the next level. Sister Preston, God bless you this morning. Good to see you. God has been, has been speaking to us about making adjustments in our lives making the necessary justice in our homes, our families, even our finances, the way we conduct business, the way we interact with people, how we just go and do things, uh, making adjustments. Good to see you, Shanice. Making adjustments in the, the necessary areas in, in your life. And I pray that this series has been blessing you. And uh, I pray that um, 
there's something that's been said that has triggered your thoughts something that has said you know what i need to change in this area i need to do i need to do better in this area this is an area of my life that i need to make some minor adjustments uh to so i can go to the next level life is all about adjustments life is all about transforming it's ever changing even paul tells us that uh we should not be conformed to this world the systems what's going on in the world around us but ye be but be ye transformed by the renewing of our mind the first thing it happens in your mind your mind has to be renewed your mind has to be transformed your way of thinking has to be transformed my old way of thinking has to has to be put away so i can put on uh renovations that's what that word means uh renewing it means literally to do renovations in your mind and if anything if you know how um when you go into a house in an old house and, it, and you want to make improvements you want to make it better you have to renovate you have to take out the old things so order for you can put new things in so even the bible tells us that we should not put a new wine into old wine skin so we cannot put something new into an old system okay so you have to change the old system the old way of thinking the old way of doing things in order for God to take you to the next place. Now, this next place, I've already prophesied it. The Lord always gave us a word for the year of 2022 for those for how shall we respond. I don't know about everybody else, but God gave me a word for how shall we respond. The year 2022 will be the year of new territory. So now I understand why God is telling us to make adjustments. I understand why God said, hey, you need to do this because guess what? The, the next coming year, you will go into new territory. And I told the people, I told you guys to put them on the screen that the, this coming year will be the year that I will go, my feet will go places that had never been before. I, I, what was it? Uh, I'm going there. Huh? You're I'm, going there? I'm going there. Okay. My feet will go places that has never been before. I will have conversations with people that will forever change my life. And uh, I will go with it. Something else. I go there. I'm, I'm, go, going, go there. I'm going there. I don't, I don't want to misquote it. My feet will go places it's never been before. Uh -huh. I will meet people that I've never met before. There you go. And I will have conversations with people that will change my life. Okay. That is our declaration for the new the, 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 the new year. The Lord spoke to me. He spoke to that during the last live. And I heard it so clear. And he kept speaking it to me. He says this would be the year of new territory. They will feet will go places that they that they would that have never been before. They will meet people they have never met before, and they will be in conversations that will forever change your life. I'm believing God for that. I'm believing God for that for how she respond. If you are and you if you have been a uh, 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 active uh, participant of the teaching, you will receive what's on what the word of the Lord has given us. Hallelujah. But so this is the time that God is telling us to make the necessary adjustments. And I'm telling you, if God is telling you, if it's giving us instructions to do something, that means there's a reason behind the instruction. Now, this is the thing. We have to be very uh, uh, mindful and be obedient to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying and to have our ears open and our hearts receptive. Glory to God to go into that next place, hallelujah, where God has called us to be. Good to see you, Latoya George. Good to see you, uh, Kanisha. Good to see you this morning. Uh, Keisha, Jubilee, good to see you this morning. Hallelujah. No, God is taking us to the next level. And this, and it's very important that we don't wait until the end of the year. We don't wait until the new year. We're not making no New Year's resolutions because half of the time we don't keep them. We are doing the necessary changes right now. We are we are we are getting in the right mindset now. We're gonna get in the right mindset. We're gonna change our thinking now. I'm not gonna wait till January first to to, to 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 miraculously do something. Glory to God. I'm doing it right now. I'm making the necessary changes right now. We're not making no resolutions. Hallelujah. But I'm gonna walk in. What God has told me in the instructions and the purpose that he has for me for this next coming year. Hallelujah. So this morning, we're going to be talking about enlarging the territory. Uh-huh. Enlarging the territory. Glory to God. First Chronicles. Very familiar passage, Chris. First Chronicles. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> First Chronicles, chapter 
Amen, Mr. DJ. Okay. Okay, I need you to go to First Chronicles 4 and 10. First Chronicles 4 and 10. Now, this is very familiar, Pastor, because you probably heard this a lot in your uh <laughs> in your walk with God. First Chronicles 4 and 10. This is the prayer of Jabez. Uh-huh. Uh, there's not there, this is the only, I believe, the only uh, mention of his name um in in, in the in the Bible, and it's kind of weird how this particular passage of scriptures as placed uh, where it's placed. It was it was placed in the middle of a uh, of a genealogy uh, line. So you know how the Bible says uh, this person begat this person, this person begat this person, this person begat this person. So you just go down this 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 line of of genealogy, and then all of a sudden this particular prayer. It slapped right there in the middle. And it's like, when you read it, it's like, this don't go with this. Like, where did this come from? Hallelujah. Now, this is what God is saying. It's going, this, this thing is going to come from out of nowhere. So you got to look at things in a prophetic view and say, okay, uh, where did this come from? How is this coming? It came so fast. So watch this. this, this it says right here, First Chronicles 4 and 10. And Jabez called on the God of Israel saying, oh, that thou wilt bless me indeed. Y'all ever heard that song? Bless me, bless me indeed. Enlarge, enlarge my territory. Yeah, I wish I could sing, but that's how I go. Okay, watch this. He said, oh, thou wouldest bless me. Don't be laughing at me. I oh, would, thou, oh, thou, <laughs> oh, that thou would bless me indeed. Did y'all like that singing? Oh, thou would bless me indeed. You're making a joyful me. No, Watch this. Watch this. I'm reading the text. Read the text. It says, and enlarge my coast or my territory. Watch this. And that thou might be with me. And from and, and, and that thou wilt keep me from all evil, that it might not grieve me. And watch this. And the Lord granted him that which he requested. And the Lord granted him what he requested. Now, this is what not a it was not a uh, something that somebody told him to say. This was his prayer. He said, God, I want you to enlarge my coast. I want you to enlarge my borders. I want you to enlarge my 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 influence. I want you to enlarge the places that I'm able to go, where my feet is able to go. Enlarge where I'm no longer restricted. Some of us, glory to God, has been restricted. We've been restricted at our jobs. We've been restricted even in our, our everyday life. And, and we're only able to go to a certain place. But God is telling us, I want to enlarge your terror. I want to expand you. I want to expand you in 2022. I want to expand your thinking. I want to expand you that I can put more of what me inside of you. Hallelujah. I feel my help now. God says, I want to expand you. I want to stretch you. Hallelujah. That's why God has been telling us, uh-huh, I need you to make some adjustments. Because guess what? I'm trying to expand you. Uh-huh. I'm trying to, I'm trying to enlarge your borders. I'm trying to in, I'm trying to make you bigger than what you are right now because you don't understand. We talked about it last week. You don't understand the potential that I have placed inside of you. Glory to God. You don't understand where I'm trying to take you. That's why I need you to make the necessary adjustment because I'm trying to expand you. I'm trying to expand your borders. Glory to God. I'm trying to allow your feet to go to places they had never been before. Hallelujah. I'm trying to expand you. I'm trying to make you passport ready. I don't know where that came from. I'm trying to make you passport ready so you can go places. That you've never been before and do things that you have never never done before. Just so you can have conversations with people that will forever change your life. He says, I'm trying to expand you. But you have to understand that you take the necessary instructions that I'm telling you now before you get to that moment. And your hearing and your, your understanding cannot be unfruitful. You cannot be dull of hearing. You know, a lot, lot of times we, 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 don't, we, we don't take the necessary instructions. It's like that child that you tell them over and over again to do a certain thing. But they refuse to take instructions. 
and they miss out because they refuse to do what? The simple things. The simple things. The, it's the simple things that God wants. The simple things. You know, the Bible talks about how this, the, it is the small boxes that spoils the vine. It's the small things that we are not doing. The small things that he's telling, telling us to do that we don't, we, 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 we refuse to do. And God said, I'm trying to take you, I'm trying to take you somewhere. But you refuse to listen. You refuse to change. You refuse to, to, I'm telling you to go back and close the door on something. I'm telling you to go back and forgive somebody. I'm telling you to go make it right with this person. I'm telling you to go do, do, do this. Make it right with your children. I'm trying to do simple things. Change the way you talk. Change the way you do things. Change, no, look, look at this particular area of your life. Change that. But we refuse to do the simple things. Go ahead, honey. That's just the introduction here. I feel God. Go ahead. In order for you to leave the borders of the United States. Oh, come on now. You must go through customs. Customs. You better talk about it, girl. <laughs> Good. I love you, girl. Go ahead. Ooh. And in order to go through customs, you um, in order for you to spend money in another country, you must make an exchange mm. or exchange your U.S. dollars mm. for whatever the currency is in that country outside of the borders of the United States. And th that's an, a major adjustment that you have to make because you have to convert what you know mm -hmm. Into something you're not familiar with. Mm -hmm. And when we make adjustments, we are adjusting something we know to something we're unfamiliar with. We're trading the currency that we know. We're trading the habits that we know for something that we're unfamiliar with. In order so we can buy, we can purchase, we can move into this, we can be in this new territory and be able to thrive. Maybe they don't want the US dollar. Maybe they want the Euro. So in order for me to make an exchange mm. and to receive product from this land, from this territory, yeah. from this country, I must make an exchange of what I'm used to for what they require in this territory. Yeah. And there are some things that we are used to that we don't, we want to enter new territory without making the exchange for the currency that's required. Mm. There is a different kind of faith that is required in this new territory. Come on now. There is a different kind of love that is required, a different kind of forgiveness that is required in this new territory. And you must make an exchange of what is comfortable to you for what it, for what is needed in this new place. How can you make purchase if you don't have the required uh, currency? Mm. There is a certain currency that is needed. I cannot go into certain countries and use the dollar, but I must make an exchange. If I plan on traveling abroad, there is no way I can go into these other countries without making exchange. Mm -hmm. And this is an adjustment that must be made. We have to adjust to, to the language mm. that they speak. Naturally speaking, spiritually speaking, there are some territories we can't go into until we change the language that is coming out of our mouth. Mm. If we're saying we expect God to take us to new territory, we expect him to let us travel in the spirit. We expect him to, to, to broaden our horizon, but our language remain the same. My Lord. You don't talk like the citizens of the territory you're trying to go to. Come on now. You better teach this morning. If I'm going to another country, there is no way they're going to understand me if they speak a completely different language. I have to learn the language. Yeah. Meaning I have to make an adjustment. I have to go into this place. If they speak Spanish, I need to try to either learn Spanish, find an app on my phone. I need I need some kind of translator, something. I need something that's going to help me speak the language of where I'm going. Yes, Lord. You cannot say, God, I want you to expand my territory and business. I want to be among millionaires and you're talking like a peasant. Ooh. It doesn't work. You have to learn 
the language. You have to speak the language. You have to, if, if you're saying I'm I'm going into the territory of victory, you have to talk like, like you're victorious. You cannot go into this territory and talk like you're defeated. You're not speaking the language. You have to speak the language of the citizens in the territory that God is sending you to. Mm. And you have to make an exchange and make the adjustments in order to have the currency to be able to purchase or obtain what God has for you in the area. Go ahead. Man, you, you keep on going. But this is good right here. Go ahead. You I said about you said something so profound. You, I don't know what you, I don't know if you realize what you said. You said the language. Mm -hmm. We have to talk the language. That means the, the way our our thinking and our even how we converse in conversations have to be expanded. I need to understand the I need to understand the language of where I'm going. Now my language is I have to speak faith. The language of the believers that our language is we, when we when we when we talk when we communicate we speak faith comes out of our that's our language. Mm -hmm. I know I I can't talk that I'm not I can't I gotta speak in a way that when my words go out that my that, that it it speaks faith and whatever I'm I'm decreeing declaring out of my mouth right. that my words catch it. Uh huh. Y'all just see that. The words that I speak out of my mouth, I'm speaking faith. So whatever, whatever I'm speaking, it grabs on or attaches to what I'm declaring. Right. My language has to be the same as what my belief system or what I'm believing God for. My language, what I'm speaking, has to match up to what my belief that what I'm believing in. In order for the words to catch it. The Bible said that death and life is in the power of the tongue. My my words, my words have power. My words have, have, have authority. Even God himself created the whole world by his word. Right. He said, let there be and there was. Yeah. Let there be and there was. Let there be light and there was light. Mm -hmm. So the words, my language, the language of a believer speaks faith now you can say how can i speak faith when what i what's before me is saying the opposite right jesus said let us go to the other side oh let us go and when he told his disciples when they was about to enter to the boat he said let us go to the other side. He already spoke the words out of his mouth. He said, let us go. Now they went to the other side, mm -hmm. but in between they had some turbulence. They had some, they had some things that they had to go through. Now we don't, we don't know what we're going through, but you got to understand and remember the declaration was let us go. So he already, he already stated the end state from the beginning. Oh, I hope y'all catching it this morning. He already stated the end state at the beginning. He said, let us go. Now, now we're going, but we we see something that goes contrary to what we said. We see a storm that's trying to prevent us to go. Now, now this is the thing that even while you were in the storm, you got to remember what he said and, and still declare the word that he gave you. I hope this happened to somebody. Speaking the language. You have to speak the language of the believer. My faith says I can go. My faith, see, logic in your in your understanding will tell you you can't do it. See, 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 faith says yes. Your logic tells you no. My, my, my. My faith tells me I can do it. But my understanding, my logic says it cannot happen. Now, the language of a believer is not no language of this current world, of this current time. <laughs> Listen, how can we be living by faith? See, the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. I walk by faith. I speak faith. I live. Now, the current world can say, how can you, how can you live and trust God in the middle of a pandemic when everybody's dying, everybody's sick? My language is not like the world's language. Mm -hmm. 
uh -uh, uh -uh. my language is not like them. My language, uh uh, I'm, I'm not from this place. I'm, I'm reside in the kingdom. And how we talk in the kingdom, we talk kingdom talk. We talk kingdom talk mm -hmm. in the kingdom. Now we don't talk, we don't talk world they talk. We talk the, we talk like we we are we are kingdom citizens. And and every every kingdom has its own language. Come on, y'all. Come on. Y'all gotta catch this in the spirit this morning. How are you talking? What are you saying? Are you speaking life or are you speaking death over your own or own situations? Mm -hmm. You have the you have the power to build up or tear down. You have the power to build up or tear down. I want to be healed. Speak healing. Uh huh. Speak healing. I want it. Speak it. You have even if 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 your body says contrary to what you are saying, you got to keep saying the language. That when my words go out, that what I'm believing God for, it will attach to the words. Change your language. And and, and I ooh. God, 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 God is, is, is on this right now. Because he's saying, listen, they want some things, but they but they what they want and how they're talking is is two is two different things now, son. They got these big dreams and aspirations. But they're not talking the language. Yeah, I, I can't I can't go overseas and, and, and talk to uh I can't go to Japan or Tokyo and go to Tokyo, Japan and, and, and talk English. Now there may be some 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 Japanese that may know the language. They may know English, but I can't go, I gotta learn the language. I remember when I went to Korea, I was in Korea for about a year. I had to learn the language of the country in order to, to gain some type of uh, understanding. I had to learn the culture. I had to learn the language in order to survive. Come on, you have to talk the language of a believer. Come on, talk about that, baby. Woo, this is good this morning. You already said that faith is the language. Faith is the language. That's the language that, uh -huh. we, that, we, um, that we must speak. And uh, it, there's a problem. This this is the problem that I that I see. We make adjustments mm -hmm. based off of what God has said, and we believe and we have faith um, to make the adjustments. And we we make the adjustments. We purchase our spiritual passport, and we're excited about the places and the potential places that we could go with this passport. We're excited about getting stamps. We're excited to, to finally get this, this booklet that gives us permission and quote unquote breaks the barriers of the territory that we're in and gives us permission to go into larger or greater or different territory. Mm. Here is the problem. We get a passport, we make the adjustments, but we do nothing with it. <laughs> That's the problem. We make the adjustments, we do everything that we need to do mm -hmm. to get to a particular point and obtain our spiritual passport, and we go nowhere. Go nowhere. We do nothing. We're too afraid to step outside of our regular, normal territory because it require us to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. In order for us to experience another culture, another place, it, it's going to require us to get out of our comfort zone in the United States. Mm -hmm. We spent all this money 
And there are some people who after even they, they, they're excited about a trip they plan on taking and they have to get their passport expedited and pay extra to get it expedited. Why am I going to pay for something to be expedited, to speed it up, to rush it, to make it happen quicker? God, I need you to move right now. I need you to expedite this, this, this release. I need you to release this quickly because I have plans. I have big plans to leave my regular territory. I want to I want to go elsewhere. But you pay extra money mm -hmm. to get the passport only to let fear overtake you. I'm no longer going because I I'm just unsure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. How long is that passport going to sit in your safe and you not put it to good use? Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of having it? And you won't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. You won't move. You won't make that. You're afraid of making that exchange. I don't know the language. Learn the language. Mm -hmm. Start speaking it around your home. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not sure what they eat. Study it. Y'all hear me in the natural and in the spirit, please. Mm -hmm. Study the language, learn it. Mm -hmm. Learn what you need to learn to at least be able to survive. Mm -hmm. When you get there, the more you hear, listen to this, the more you hear the language, the more you will learn. The, lo the longer you're around the language and you hear it over and over again, you can start catching a couple words because what you did was you, 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 um, you made yourself privy to the, the, the foundational words or the foundational language in order to be able to at least survive in this new territory. Right. And as you're here and you hear the language over and over again, and it's repeated over and over again, you'll begin to pick up certain words. You're like, okay, I know that word. I know that word. Let me put two and two together. And then I can, I can at least make out what they're trying to say. I'm, I probably can't speak it fluently. I, I can't speak faith fluently yet, but I can pick out some of the words and I can put two and two together and I can I, I see what they're trying to say. Yeah. And the next time you go past somebody else, you hear them speaking some of the same language. You're like, hold on, I, I know an additional word. Wait a minute. Now, what does that mean? Let me ask. A, now, I, I found somebody who can speak a little English. Now, 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 now tell me how to say that word. <laughs> now, show me. How, now, how did you do that? Yeah. Now, what, it, what, what do I need to say? And how, how does faith look? Now, what, yeah. tell me what I need to believe. Go ahead. Yeah, because, and that's the thing, you said, so, other than to, to, to speak the language, you have to get around people that speak what? The same language. The same language. I have to get around somebody that knows the language in order for, for, for me to pick up on it. So, I have to stay around people that are speaking the same language as the kingdom. I need to, I need to hook up with somebody that has the same what the, uh, as my pastor talked about precious faith, that you have to be around people that are speaking the same thing, believing the same thing, and have the same mindset as you. I, I need, I, in order for me to pick up the language, I have to be around somebody that what? Knows the language. Knows the language. And I, I need you to teach me how to, how to believe this thing. I need you to show me how to walk this thing out. I need, to, I need you to show me how to speak faith. I need you to show me how to speak healing. I need you to show me how to how to walk with God. I need I need the language. So I'm going to stay close to you yeah. because you are talking. And while you are talking, the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I'm, I'm going to stick close to you because you, you're talking a good talk. talk. You're mm -hmm. talking a good game. And your language, your, your language is saying something. I don't know the language, but I'm going to stay close to you because you know the language. So I can, So guess what? I can go walk and do the language too. I can I can speak the language too. When you when we go into other, um, even inside of the United States, when we go to other territories, or other places, other states where they have um, a certain accent, if we stay around them long enough, we begin to pick up the accent that we are around. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And you will find yourself saying words. Yeah. Like those right. you are around. Right, right. Stay around them long enough. Yeah. When we go to Virginia, I noticed this. My mother, she's from the eastern shore of Virginia. 
And when she she's here in Georgia, I can still hear her accent. Mm -hmm. But it's not as strong. It has a little, a little, uh, mm -hmm. a little, it's seasoned a little bit with some Georgia twain. <laughs> but when my mother returned to her hometown mm -hmm. around her brothers and sisters, her mother, her family, her accent mm -hmm. becomes very, very strong because she is around that language. She is around that accent. So she, that that Virginia, that Eastern Shore Virginia vernacular, the way that they talk, mm -hmm. she, it is so heavy. Even my dad, it is so heavy. And and, and, I, and I'm like, good, I'm like, mom, good, you can't talk. But that is, that's what happened when you surround yourself, when you're surrounded by a, a another language, when you're surrounded by even an accent, you will find that that accent, because you're hearing it so much, you begin to come a part of the culture. You begin to come a part of that language. You start to sound like those people around you. Go to New York and stay there a long time. You're going to start sounding like one of them. <laughs> stay in Jamaica. You'll start sounding like them. Over time, because I surround myself... And it's very imperative that whatever kind, whatever kind of citizens you're around, that those citizens are speaking the language in which you're trying to speak. If I need healing in my body, I am not going around someone who is always talking about their infirmity and speaking in defeat. I need to be around somebody who has been healed, have a testimony, they speak life, they're not talking about, I may be, I may be able to tell them and explain to them what is going on in my body, but I need them to be the strength that I need. I need them to be a very familiar citizen in the city, in the town, in the country of healing so that they can speak that language to me so that I can begin to speak the same language. Because if they are that if they live over here in defeat in the in the town of defeat, then I don't need to be over here because I'm trying to get healed from this. I'm trying to be free from this. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to embark on a journey of forgiveness, but I have someone over here that is speaking to me, telling me to hold on to everything that ever hurt me and telling me I have a right to feel this way. And, 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 and you need to hold on to that. And, 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 no, I'm trying to I'm trying to break barriers. I'm trying to go places that my parents didn't go. I'm trying to go places that my ancestors, that my grandmother refused to go. I'm trying to go into territories that have been uncharted. Maybe there's somebody in this territory. They're already there. And that is where, that is my heart's desire. And I want to be free from this. And I want to be set, I want to be set free from this. And I want to go into the, the land that is flowing with milk and honey. Yes, I want Lord. to go to this place. Yes, Lord. But I have to surround myself. We must surround ourselves. You have to surround yourself, even in ministry, those who are in ministry, you have to surround yourself with people who have like minds. Yeah. If you if you are used to the same old, same old, and you, you really want to embark on a journey of change, you really want God to do some different things. You're asking God, God, I I, I want to do more for you. I want to, I want to broaden my horizon. I don't want to be so close-minded to things. God, open up my understanding. The the way you're going to do that is you're gonna have to surround yourself mm. with people. Mm who are speaking the same language. Same language. As long as it's according to the word. Yeah. You have to get around people who are speaking the same language so that you can learn their strat well how to learn their strategies. How yeah. are we doing this? How 
well, what do I need to say? What do I need to study? Yeah. What is important for me to know? What are important nuggets that I need to get from you yeah. that is going to take me to the next place, that is going to allow me to be able to, to even within this within this new territory that I'm in, how can I, what words, what can I learn? What can I get into, into my, my spirit? What can I learn that, that I can use that, I, that will allow me to now get onto the city buses in this new place and I can travel places and I can go places and I can visit. What, what do I, what key uh, 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 phrases do I need to learn? That's going to help me get. Yeah to this next territory. Go ahead. So you talked about, so the, we talked about it, the, the language. So the, 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 the first point that we, we, we stayed on for a while was learn the language. I have to learn the language of the territory to where you're going. I have to be able to know, I have to know how to speak faith. My language is different from the world. I speak faith. I speak these things. Now I want to get, I want to get back into this text in first Chronicles 4 and 10. Watch this. Look what Jabez, look the order of Jabez's prayer. Look at the order. The first thing he asks God, he says, he says, oh, that thou would bless me indeed and enlarge my coast. Now, notice here. The first thing he, 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 he didn't say, he didn't say enlarge my territory and then bless me. The first thing he said, God, I need you to bless me. He said, bless me indeed. So the first thing he said, I need, I need your stamp of approval. Mm -hmm. Before you send me to the territory, before you send me to the new place, before you send me to places that I have never been before, before you enlarge my influence, before you enlarge my borders, before you put me before people that I have never seen before, before I engage in conversations that will forever change my life, before you do all these things, I, these things, I need you to bless me first. Yep. Woo! I need your, I need your stamp of approval first, God, before I go into the new to territory. Jabez said. Father, I need you to bless me first. Bless me and first. when you bless me, do it indeed. I just don't want to go to a place and don't have your approval. Right. I don't want to go to a new territory before you bless me, God. Before you put your stamp of approval on me first. I need you to bless me before I go there. Right. So that's why the seeking the counsel of God and seeking his understanding is very vital because you don't want to go to you don't never want to go anywhere that God doesn't send you or he's not with you right. before you go. Jabez says Father I need you to bless me first and how are you going to bless how are you going to bless me? He said bless me indeed. I, how are you going to bless me God? I need you to bless me. Then he asks enlarge my coast, enlarge my territory, enlarge my influence Allow me to go to those places. Allow me to do those things. I want to expand my thinking. Uh-huh. God, I need you to bless me. Bless me indeed. I need you to, I need you to bless, I need your stamp of approval on me, God, before I go to the next level. Have you asked, have, you know, have you got in a routine of this asking God for something before you ask him, ask him to bless you? Before you ask him, God, I, before before you ask him to do certain things, you don't ask God. Put your approval on it. Put your approval on this God, on this decision. Put your approval on this, even on this job. Put your approval on it. On this, on this, on this, on this decision that I need to make. I need you to bless me. I need you to put your, your stamp of approval because if you don't put your stamp of approval on it, Bible said, "Let's the let's the unless God builds the house, those that build are they build in vain. So unless God does it, unless God has His hand in it, unless God has His ha, ha, has His oversight on it, it's not going to work. That's why the Bible tells us that in all our ways, what that we should acknowledge Him. Uh huh. In all our ways, we should seek Him, and, and what He will direct our path. God, I need you to bless me." I want to. I want to do something. I want to. I want to go places. I want you to. I want. I want my territory law. But I, I first need your permission. You know, before you send a letter off in the mail, it first needs a stamp. Mm 
needs a stamp. It needs a stamp before, before, before you can put it in the mailbox, before you can put it on the in the in the receptacle, so it can go where you want it to go. It first needs a what a stamp. Glory to God. It needs, and that stamp is the seal of approval. Oh, good God Almighty. It is the seal. It gives the leather authorization to go to the, 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 the destination that it has been predestined to go. Yeah. The stamp. It's the approval of God that you need. Now watch this now. If that letter does not have a stamp, it's what? It's going to return to sender. It's going to come back. It's going to come back. Now that's why it's so important. J I understand why J Bad said, Father, he acknowledged, he said, God, I need you to bless me first. I need your approval. I need your approval first, God, because I don't want to return to sin. Mm. How many have moved out of the timing of God? How many have made hasty decisions? Hi. How many have moved before you even acknowledge him? Have. Have? have. I have too. I, I made decisions. I've done things without the approval of God. And guess what? I would I would say now I would say hundred percent of the time. I'm not gonna say ninety nine. Hundred percent of the time. hundred percent of the time it failed and it returned back to sin. Yeah, you end up going back to oh, man, I shouldn't have made that decision. Ah, and then you have to live with what the consequences. You have to live with the consequences of your decisions. Live. Because you did not seek God's counsel. You did not seek any type of wide counsel. You said, you, you know what you said? You said, I'm grown. I'm grown. I'm grown. I can make my own decisions. I know what's best for me. I know what I need to do. I'm going to make this. I'm going to do it. And I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I have. And that thing, it, it did not work out. Because God's hand wasn't on it. His stamp of approval was on, not on the letter, and he sent the letter back to he sent it back to the, 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 the sent it back to the sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. Return. I hope you got a return address because sometimes you may not even get that letter back. You won't get that time back. The time you wasted. Uh huh. That you said, man, just wasted all my time. Could have been doing something else. Yeah. Could have did something else with that money. I could have done something else with that. Yeah. So the second point, the second point, the first point was to learn what? To learn the language of the territory. Second point, second point is seek the approval of God. Seek his approval. I think that's only two, two points we got this morning. Learn the language and seek the approval of God. I, I need to learn the language of the believer. I need to learn the language of the kingdom because we don't speak how the world speaks. We don't operate how the world operates. We speak faith that my when I speak my words, that my words attach to what I'm believing. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like putting us. It's like a man putting a seed into a woman. The Bible says this. Watch this now. The seed is the word. Now, this, this was this was a parable that Jesus was talking about. And he was getting the disciples, or he was giving his audience the interpretation of the of the of the parable. And he was saying that the seed, watch this now, the seed is the word. The seed is the word. Now, if we relate that in the, the natural, how a man puts a seed in a woman. And how what was put into the woman, it gravitates to the woman. And it and whatever it, it, it gravitated to, it begins to grow. The seed is the word. So when, when I, I speak the word, it's a seed that I speak it out to the atmosphere. Uh-huh. And then what I'm believing for. It, 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 it gravitates to it. Come on, y'all got to catch this. It gravitates to what I'm saying and it impregnates it. And then that thing begins to grow and, and, and materialize. And then manifestation comes. And see, the world can't see this. 
But this is the language of the kingdom. And I'm, I'm able, I'm able to speak things. I'm able to speak faith. I'm able to speak something and then walk it out. Because my language is different. My thought process is different. Glory to God. Now watch this. Jabez says, he says, oh, that would bless me indeed. Enlarge my coast that thou might be with me. Now watch this. After you enlarge my coast, I need you to be with me. When I go to the new territory, I need you to be with me. Father, when you when you when you grant me the new job, I need you to be with me. When you give me the new business idea, I need you to be with me. When you give me the promotion, I need you to be with me. When you give me the new house, I need you to be with me. When you give me the new raise, the, the, the job, the, the, the new car, I need you to be with me. When I go to places, I need you to be with me. When you, when you put me before people, I need you to be with me. Father, when you begin to move in my life, I need you to be with me. Because guess what? The next verse, look what he said. He says, keep me from all evil. He's asking God for protection now. Because I know that there are going to be some people that's not going to be there's not going to be some people that are going to talk the same language as me. There's some evil people that will be jealous or envious or not 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 want to applaud me for what you were doing in my life. So there's going to be evil around me. So, Father, I need your protection. I, I, I need you to be with me. Mm -hmm. Come on. You got to ask God to be with you. Whatever you are doing, it, 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 whatever you... Whatever place you are in life, you got to ask God to be with you. I don't care from, from, from the small to the least. You got to ask God to be with you. Come on. I, I need you to, I need this, this prayer. This prayer is powerful. This is the, this is the prayer of Jabez. He says, keep me from all evil. And then he says, in the Bible says, and God granted him that which he requested. God granted him what he requested. What are you requesting God to do for you? What are you requesting? Come on. I need you to get that on your mind right now. What am I requesting God? We can request things God from God. The Bible says, let your request be known, make, be known unto him. It's the Bible talk, even Paul, he says, make your, he says, he says, be anxious for nothing, but pray about everything. Make your request known unto God. I, we talked about this earlier in the year. M make it be known. Make your request known. Be specific in this hour. We talked about that earlier. Be specific. Be in detail in what you want God to do. Jabez was specific in what he wanted God to do. He said, God, I need you to bless me. I need, as a matter of fact, I need you to bless me indeed. He said, I need you to, to enlarge my coast. He said, I want you to be with me. He said, I want you to, I want you to be with me, and I want you to keep me from all evil. And the Bible says, Nick, I'm, I'm reading the Bible, y'all. I'm right here in the Bible. I'm right here in the text. I ain't make it up. And the Bible says, and God granted him that which he requested. He was specific in what he asked for. He was specific. God, I want you to do this. 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 And I want you to do this. The Bible says, and he granted him his request. Now, Paul's talking about make our request known unto him. And then the Bible tells us here, even in old, the Old Testament, we got an example in the Old Testament, and then we got an example in the New Testament. The Old Testament said he granted what he requested. 
Paul tells us in, in the New Testament that we should make our request known unto him. Make your request unto God. That's right, Octavia. You got to continue to speak healing. I don't care. I don't care how many times your baby's got to go to the doctor. I don't care how many times they may have episodes. You have to speak the language of healing. You have to decree and declare healing over your babies. You got to speak healing into your atmosphere. Keep speaking the language. We are speaking the language today. We are speaking. See, we see the world don't understand the language, but we understand the language. Glory to God. Enlarge my territory. God, I need you to expand me. I need you to do something in my life like never before. I need you to move. I need to go to one place to another. I need you to, to it, I'm, I'm being restricted. Some of us have been restricted. And some of us, even Octavia, you you not made me do certain things because of this sickness, of mm -hmm. this, of this, of this sickness. So you're restricted to, to, to a certain movement. You're restricted to a certain area. And, and see, God want, is wanting us to expand certain things restrict us, restrict us from not going or not doing. And see, this is why this word so this morning so is so so powerful because God says, I want to expand your territory. I want to unrestrict you. Yeah, I want to unrestrict you. What is restricting you? I need you to get that thing on your mind. What is restricting you? What has you confined to one place? Come on. And God says, I want to break that off you today. Hallelujah. I want to, I want to break, I want to take off the restrictions. Hallelujah. And this is the thing, sometimes the restricted restrictions we play, we have placed on ourselves because of past hurt, past pains, and past uh disappointments. We put restrictions around ourselves. Glory to God. The restrictions of life, the some things that have caused us, I, I, I can't move, I can't, I'm feeling I, I'm was it claustrophobic? Mm -hmm. Confined to one area, and it seems like the world's caving down on me. And Father, I need I need you to give me an open space. I'm too I'm too restricted. It's too it's too crowded in here. My life seems like it's too crowded. I got so many things that I'm dealing with. I got this thing I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with this. I'm dealing with financial problems. I'm dealing with health issues. I'm dealing with this with my children. I'm dealing with this with my my husband, my wife, and. My other family members, I'm dealing with this stuff on the job. I'm dealing with just not making ends meet. I don't know how I'm going to pay this light bill. I don't know how I'm going to make this car note. I don't know how I'm, I'm trying to move my credit's bad. I'm just, I'm just crowded. I'm restricted, God. I can't even, I can't even take a, a decent vacation. I can't even spend money and, and have money for Christmas presents. I, I just feel so restricted, God. Why will you not? expand me. I want to be expanded. I want these restrictions off of my life. I need you to expand me. I need you to enlarge my territory. I need to be in a bigger space, God. Hallelujah. I need more wiggle room. My God, I just need some room. It's just too crowded in here. Am I, am I talking to somebody this morning? How many just feel like, God, I just feel so restricted. Come on, I know I'm not the one. I know, I know, I know there's somebody listening to me that can relate and your spirit is agreeing to what the spirit is saying this one. I just need God to enlarge my territory. I feel so restricted. I feel so bound. I feel in a place where I'm worrying and, and just the, 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 the cares of life and the pressures of life and just things after things and uh -huh. things after things. I'm worried about a 
a, a, a virus. I'm worrying about Delta variant. I'm worrying about Maracan or whoever calling it, whoever the variant, whatever the new name of it, whoever it is. I'm worrying about him. I, I'm sick of wearing masks. I'm sick of sanitizing. I'm sick of standing six feet. I'm sick of standing, not being able to go and, and visit people. I'm just tired, God. I'm just tired. I'm restricted. 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 What do we do? What do we do? What can I do? Father, I need you. Uh-huh. I need you, God. I need you. Uh-huh. I need you. In those moments, I just continue to cry out to God. I just continue to cry out to God. Father, I lay my heart out before you. I, I cry out to you. Father, you said cast all my cares upon you because you care for me. You that means you you care about what's going on with me. You care about my heart. Now you now your word says, your word says you will never leave me nor forsake me. You your word said that you will be with me to the end of the earth. Your word said that there's nothing able to separate the love you have for me. Now your word, now your word says this, God. Your word said that you said it. I didn't say it. I'm just saying what you are saying. I need you to enlarge my territory. First, I need you to bless me. I need you to put your approval on me, God. I know I've done some things. Maybe I've done some things that has, has, has caused me to be restricted. But I need you to put your stamp of approval on me, God. I need you to put your staff on me, God. I need you to put your hand on me, oh God. Forgive me, Father, if I've done anything that has allowed uh, the restrictions of life to be placed upon me. That's why I need you to bless me, oh God. I need your hand to be upon me, Father. If your hand is not on me, I can't go. Glory to God. Abraham said, he says, he said, if the presence doesn't go with me, uh -huh. If his, if his presence doesn't, he said, told God, if your presence doesn't go with me, don't send me. If you don't go with me, God, I want to go. Because I mean that means I'm uncovered. And anything is liable to happen to me. Enlarge my territory, God. I just need some more room to operate. I feel confined to the place I'm in right now. And I need you to show up in my life. I'm tired of being sick. I'm tired of going to the doctor. I'm tired of these medical bills. I'm tired of it, God. I feel so restricted. I just need you to enlarge it. I need you to enlarge my territory. I need more space. Bless me, God. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been dealing with this for so long. I've been, I've been struggling with this for so long. I've been in, in the same predicament for so long, God. When will you hear me? When will you hear my cry? I'm crying out to you, God. When will you do it? Is that you this morning? Is that you this morning? Put your prayer petition on the screen. I feel God. I feel God. I feel the presence of God in this room. Hallelujah. So there, yeah. Glory to your name, God. Father, we need you. We're crying out to you this morning. We need you to move, God. We need you to move. We sense in this atmosphere now, God, that you want to move. Hallelujah. We stand in the gap on the behalf of your people. That you even turn your wrath from them. Even from the decision makers they have made. The wrong decisions. Some of us are the restrictions have been placed upon us because the wrong decisions. Past past decisions that we have made in haste. 
without the approval and timing of God. We're gonna we're gonna repent for those decisions. We're gonna repent for those decisions. We're gonna repent for those decisions that we had we, the, the time that we didn't even acknowledge God. If you need God to move, just put on the screen. I need God to move. I want to pray for you. Just put on the screen. I need God to move. I need God to expand me. I need God to expand me. And listen, summertime, listen. And I and I prayed you guys heard me in the spirit. This is not about how houses, cars, and land. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. We talk about enlarging territories. And that comes with it. It's a part of it. But some of the things, some of the things God wants, he wants to expand us. Some of you are restricted. And you want, and you, and you need God to expand you. I, God, I, I need my thinking expanded. I need my faith expanded. I need the territory of my life expect. I just need. I just need to think differently. I, I'm thinking mediocre. I, my mind is small thinking. I need my mind to be expanded so I can have more of you inside of me. Our real prayer should be God. I want you to expand me so I can I can receive more of you. Because I, I place things and people ahead of you. Yeah. I put my career ahead of you. I put my relationship ahead of you. I put I put so many other things ahead of you. But this is the time that I will make the decision that I will put God first. Every area in my life, I don't care what it is. I will acknowledge him in everything. On the, on the career move, on the new job, the decision to do this, this decision, on that decision, I will ask God to bless me indeed. I will pray the prayer of Jabez. Bless me indeed. Before you enlarge my territory, before you do all these great and miraculous things, I will acknowledge you and ask you to bless me first. I need God to move. You need God. I want to pray. Listen, 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 listen. I want God to move in your life. I want God's hand to show up in your life. I pray that the words that God has been giving us, that you take it for face value, you apply it to your life. This is the spirit speaking this morning. I told my wife, I said, I said, I don't know what we're gonna talk about this morning. We're just gonna be led by the spirit of God. Didn't come with an agenda, didn't come with no notes, didn't come with net anything. We just said we're gonna let God speak. And this is what God spoke this morning. I want to enlarge. I want to enlarge them. I want the, res the restrictions to be off of them. Hallelujah. Come on, we got to acknowledge God. We're living in the last and evil days. We have to acknowledge God. We have to acknowledge him. We have to seek his approval. Jabez says, bless me in thee. Before he asks for all the other stuff. Before he asks for the territory. And all, before he asks for any of that, y'all. He first he said, bless me. What's the point of being What's the point of having all these things and God's not in it? It profits you nothing. Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all his righteousness. And what? All these other things shall be added unto you. We're talking about priorities. Even our prayers. We have to pray a yes. sense of priority in our prayers. Hallelujah. How 
can you pray? It's a, you can say, how, 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 I'm praying to God. I'm praying to God, but how, how am I not making my priority in prayer first? It's easy. You begin to, when you begin to pray, you just ask God to do all these things for you. You ask God to do this, this, that, 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 that. Even our prayers become can become selfish. Mm-hmm. Even our prayers will become, become selfish in a way. Because we begin, we begin to pray and just and just we just dump all this stuff on God. All this stuff. All all this stuff. And then he'd be like, What you what have you done for me lately? You remember that, remember that who sang that song? You done for me lately. Do, no, no, no. Do, do, do. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. That's Janet Jackson, right? Was it Janet Jackson? Is that Janet Jackson? Who's that? Is that Janet that Jackson? Baby, I know it come off a movie, but you're talking about who, who originally wrote the song. Oh no, I, I only know it from uh, what sister? Is it sister? No, what, what's the movie? I think that's just Janet Jackson. Though. Well, that's not that's. I'm not saying it's not. But I only know it from the movie. Okay, you with Lauren Hill and all them on there. That's all I know. And the students, sister Ed. Yep, sister Ed. That's all I know. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, where does Sister Act get it from? I said, I don't know. Tell me Janet Jackson, I think it is. Okay, well. It, yeah, see, I know what I'm talking about, Janet Jackson. What have you, <laughs> see, you were just, you don't knock me out the spirit. I didn't knock you nowhere. You're focused on Janet, I'm, fo- I'm focused on the church movie. Praise God. <laughs> oh, the church got it from Janet Jackson. The church movie. All right. What have you done for me lately? Ooh, ooh, yeah. Listen, let me get back serious. <laughs> Our prayers have to be, even when we pray, we have to pray. Pray in a sense of priority. What's priority? Glory to God. All right, listen, I want to call your names out this morning. You going back to the top? Huh? Are you going back to the top? Yeah. Okay, so I didn't know you were going to do that, but God had already told me to write down the names of everybody that's on this live today. Okay. Well, I guess the Lord spoke. So here you go. <laughs> I was going back as they were popping in and going off. I just was writing things down so I didn't know that you were gonna do that but the Lord just told me to just write down everybody's name today as they were getting on okay listen I'm gonna pray but I ask God to move in your life I want to ask God to remove the restrictions off your life I want you to believe God I want you to believe God and, and envision yourself that the borders are being expanded and the restrictions are being broken off of your life We got Mary name. I got I, I told you I got it. Mary, we got your name, Mary. I got it. We got your name, Mary. I got it. I got I got the quan. I got him. The quan, we got you, Mary. I got him. I already got I'm it. I'm calling these, I'm gonna call these names out. And I'm gonna pray. I don't like to see one name for that. She just Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to pray that God breaks the restrictions off your life. That whatever's holding you back, whatever things that even the bad decisions you have made that has that has called you to have restrictions on your life. I'm going to pray that God releases it off your life. I'm going to pray that God moves in your life like never before. That he enlarges your territory, he expands your borders, he expands you. That he expands you. Hallelujah. That he expands you. I'm going to call your name out this morning. And listen, God knows what we need. God knows what we need. I'm just going to call your name out. And I'm believing by faith. This is the language I'm speaking this morning. That when I call your name. That what the, the thing that is. That needs to be broken. Will be broken. Whatever it is. It's healing, financial, 
you need a financial miracle, you need something in your life to be dissolved, whatever it is, when I call your name, my language this morning is saying that when I call your name, that God will begin to move in an area. This is the language. Hallelujah. I'm just going to call out names this morning. This is what the Spirit of the Lord has instructed me to do. Because guess what? I can, I can, I can pray for, I'm pr by me calling your name, I'm praying for your prayer petition. He said, mm -hmm. this is the language I need you to speak this morning, son. Yeah. This, he says, speak the language. Because sometimes when even when we are, we can, we can be praying something. And we are, we are speaking this stuff back out to the atmosphere. He said, I just need you to call their name this morning. Hallelujah. I thank God. Father, I need you to move on their behalf. When I call their name out, God, I need you to move. Father, I pray the prayer of Jabez this morning that you will bless us. Every name that I'm about to call out, I ask you to bless. I ask you to bless indeed. I ask you to enlarge their territory. I ask you to be with them. I ask you, oh God, to shield them from evil. They will not grieve them. And your word says, according to 1 Chronicles 4 and 10, your word says, and you granted their request. Father, I'm praying your word this morning. You said this. As I call their names out. I need whatever the specific thing in their life mm -hmm. that needs to be broken, that needs to be removed. My prayer is that you do it for them. Woo! Glory to God. I believe God by faith. This is my language. I speak by faith that every name that I call out this morning that you will move. Tasha Riley, Connie Hasty, Latoya George, Stephanie Franks, Stephanie Jenkins, Felina Void, Keisha Jubilee, Devante Clyde, Shanice Strand, Kanisha DeShields, Cassandra Smith, Octavia Bonds, Megan Bonds, what's the other baby name? Mackenzie. Mackenzie Bonds. Cherry Perry, Masayas Brockington, Bianca McClain, Sakita Brockington, Shanita, Shanita Brockington, Jaleesa Bufa, Dolores Smalls, Tamara Crawford, Keisha Stanley, Cynthia Harris, Daquan Collin and his wife, mm -hmm. Jadon Harris and his wife. Mary Jeter, glory to God. Vanessa Miller, Vanessa, Vanessa Miller, Tamitra Preston, Nancy White, Evangelist Rochelle, Tamara Wooded, Dora Spady, Barbara Nichols, Robert Wooded Jr. Glory to God. I believe by faith. This is already done. Yes. I believe it's already done. Already done. Uh-huh. See, Devontae said that before I even said that. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, Mary. Dondrea. Deandrea. Dondrea. Dondrea. Cheetah. Don it's all ready done. Y'all know that includes your kids, too, mm. and your grandkids. Mm. A blessing over your house equals a blessing that falls to your children and your grandchildren. Because your heart, when God gives you and bless you, you're going to make sure that your kids and your grandkids are good. Mm -hmm. So that's over you and your house. Okay? You and your house.
Tau hero ini It's already done. It's already done. Hallelujah. Now I need you to receive it. I need you to receive it. And say, God, I accept and I receive my expansion. Uh huh. I need you to receive it. And say, I receive my expansion. Uh huh. You are going to the next level in God. You are going to the next level in God. And watch this. I want to say this last point. The Bible says that the reason why Jabez's mother called him Jabez, the reason why she called him Jabez, because he was birthed in sorrow. He was birthed. When he was born, he was birthed in pain. And maybe you, listen, I'm telling you, the area that has been painting you, that sorrowful place, that place of, I'm just in pain. Now, I've been birthed into purpose. Yeah. Yeah. My 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 pain has turned into purpose. Yeah. Jabez reversed what his name mean mm -hmm. when he prayed that prayer. Yeah. No, I'm no longer gonna be named or be known for being sorrowful or painful. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna change my language. He spoke the language, y'all. Y'all gotta catch in the spirit. My mother named me Jabez because behind what she experienced. Uh huh. Yeah. Ooh, I just said something. You, you call that? Yeah. Behind what she experienced. She named me based on what she experienced. But listen, I changed my language. I'm not speaking how my mama is speaking. Ooh, 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 ooh. What was birthed in pain was changed in my language. I changed it. My God, thank you for the revelation. Go ahead, man. Basically, she spoke, she spoke the language contingent upon what she was experiencing. That, that's what she did. It was based off of what she was going through and what she experienced. But listen to this. Isn't it funny that we, when we name our children, we go through uh, birthing pains and, and contractions. We experience all this discomfort and pain. But when we name our children, we've named them from a place of love and joy. When you, when you, when you, were, you were excited about naming your child, you wasn't that you didn't think about the pain that you would experience to get them here. You didn't think about the healing process that you would have to go through. You just thought about the joy that it would cause and bring into your life. How happy you would be to see your child counting the 10 fingers and the 10 toes. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. So it was the joy that that thing was, that that child brought into your life. That influence how what you called how you call the child what you name the child. You did not name it based on the pain that you experienced prior to the child getting here. Mm. And we have to stop calling stuff according to the pain experience that ex that we have experienced. Yeah, but what we want it to be. My God. Yeah. My God, my God. She named that boy based on what she experienced in childbirth. Bible says his name was sorrowful because he was birthed in pain. Jabez says, I'm, I, listen, I'm not living my life like that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not living my life like that. The, every time that you see me, you see pain. And guess what? 
we become the things that we have spoken. We become those things. But Jabez changed the language. Mm -hmm. What was birthed in pain, he changed it. He changed the whole trajectory of his life based off the language he spoke, the prayer he prayed. I'm not. I'm not living based. I'm not. I'm not living my life based off somebody else's experience. Mm -hmm. Look at this comment. It says, "No, seriously, I was in the middle of a domestic violent marriage mm. and named my girls Precious and Serenity. Ah, uh, Precious, Serenity, what peace? Serenity means mm -hmm. peace, right? Precious and peace, peace and peace, peace and precious. Some precious peace. Precious peace." And get some. You have to change the language. See, I I love that Stephanie Franks. I'm not gonna base call my children something based off the experience. Uh huh. Because guess what? Those children will be what you call them to be. What what they what they was birthed into. If you look at them that in that in that manner, they will be exactly what you are professing out of your mouth. You know what? I, it made me think of Benjamin in the Bible. Benjamin, originally, before his his mother passed away, she named him Benanai, mm. meaning son of my sorrow. Son of my... Mm -hmm. And she passed away after childbirth. Uh -huh. But then his father came along yeah. and said, listen, uh -uh. I'm not calling you son of my sorrow, although... I just lost my wife. Yeah. And she passed away after yeah. childbirth. I'm not calling you the son of my sorrow. So instead of him calling Benjamin Ben and I, he changed his name and said, no, I'm gonna call you Benjamin. Meaning? Son of my right, right hand. hand. Oh, oh, you better teach this boy. The ironic thing about that though is the Benjamites. Yes, sir. The tribe of Benjamin. You better teach this story. <laughs> the tribe of Benjamin, um, ironically. His name means son of my right hand, but they were taught and trained to fight they ambidextrous with, their left, so with their left hand. If they were right handed, they were taught to fight with their left hand Come because on. what it did is it gave them an upper hand on the enemy uh -huh. because primarily the majority of soldiers were right-handed. So if you would fight them from the perspective of someone with a, that is predominantly left-handed, they don't know how to, uh, they don't know how to fight you. It, it, it's difficult for them to attack you when you fight them differently. If you hear what I'm saying. Mm. If you hear what I'm saying. So every, every soldier from the tribe of Benjamin had to fight. They fought a different way. That was, that gave them the upper hand. They fought them from, from a perspective they weren't used to. See, they weren't used to all of that. Mm. They only, I'm used to I'm used to things go, being a certain way. I'm used to people fighting me with words. I'm used to people fighting me with their hands. I'm used to them retaliating and trying to get at me, get back at me. I'm used to them trying to down and drag my name. Okay. So the, the left hand is what? A different language. A different language. It's a different way. They had, they had, they had to use a different kind of tactic. See? Come on. They couldn't use the same the same tactic that the other armies were using. Maybe they were using a different kind of weapon. But listen to this. If I fight you in a different way and you're not used to that, yeah. I have the advantage. Changing your language has the advantage. Yeah. I'm done. Go ahead. All right. Woo! All right. Um, I think that's it. Because, uh, man, that was some good teaching there. How many, how many, how many believe God? How many believe God this morning? The battle is the same, change the way I have been fighting back. That's your word, I tell you. Change your method of, of, of attack. That's what that's what we, if you don't take anything away from this morning's message, I want you to, I want you to take away your takeaway, your doggy bag is to change your language. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, man. 
when your palate is introduced to high quality foods, mm-hmm. and I've learned this because you know my my, my baby sister is, is a chef, like she's a chef chef, like she's she's chef, she's a real she's a real chef, went to school and everything. When your when your palate becomes introduced to higher quality foods, low quality foods become unpleasing to your palate. When you become accustomed to speaking a different language, anything that is less or that is, uh, hmm, anything that is, is of lower standard than what I am now accustomed to, I don't care for it. I don't like it. I would prefer a, a better grade of meat. I would prefer a better seasoning. I would prefer the, a different kind because it is no longer palatable to me. I need something. I need, hold on. I need a better quality. I need a better quality speaker. I need a, I, I, I'm, I'm used to a certain quality of food. I'm used to a certain quality of clothing. I'm used to a certain quality. I'm used to a certain language. I'm no longer talking Ebonics because I know how to walk into a room and change the room by my language. I no longer call it, uh, you know, smothered chicken. I can now, I call it, you know, a, a smothered duck, duck confit. What I know about that? I call different, different slices and dices and julian and all this different stuff, blanche and, and I learned what spatchcock. <laughs> we learned that. But you change your language and what you call things because now I know better. I am now accustomed to to something new. So now I, 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 my palate is different. I have a different appetite now. I don't, I don't want uh, uh, noodles anymore. I need you to put some sauce on it and, and sli- make some, some, I need you to pan sear some chicken and make a, make a, a reduction and, and, and put that reduction over there and put me some parsley on top, maybe a little rosemary. I speak a different langu- language as it pertains to food because I have been exposed to something better, to something that is of greater quality. Yeah. So now I just, I don't just talk about, Listen, I don't just talk, you know, I want some fried chicken. We, we, we can't, we can't only want Popeye chicken all out. Uh-uh. Life. You have to experience something of greater quality. You have to, you, and, and, and this is the funny part. I can now go into a rest where 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 I used to be like, Becky, what's this? What's that? What does that mean? I can now go into a restaurant. I'm like, oh, okay, my sister used those words because you know the language. Because I know the I know the chef language. I I know and I'm better at knowing the chef language now. I don't know all, but because I have surrounded myself yeah. with the language, I can now go into a nice restaurant and I can sit down and look at the menu like, oh, that's. I didn't know it was all smothered chicken. But the language that they use, I understand it now. Yeah, I understand the language now. Now my appetite, I have a different palate now. Mm-hmm. But go ahead, I'm done, okay. Uh, he keep just telling me stuff. Okay, go ahead. Spatchcock of chicken in the pandemic. <laughs> We had spatchcock uh, turkey for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, I was like, what is a spatchcock? What is that? <laughs> it sounds like it hurts. <laughs> and then it was smoked, but it was good. It was good, though. I don't think I'm going to learn how to do that. It was good. But y'all, just change your language. Oh, I pray this, this, this has been a blessing to you this morning. My God, the Lord spoke this morning. I promise he did. That was fresh revelation. That was on. That was that was on. What I call on site. It. I, what I call insight on site. God will give you insight on site right at that moment. Oh my God. Stephanie says I'm full. I'm full too, Stephanie. Listen, we ate this morning just like you guys ate. Mm-hmm. It was good this morning. I, there was some good food this morning. It was some good food. 
We are so thankful for all of y'all. We really all are. of y'all that have been faithful to how she respond. We thank you so much to, for supporting this ministry. We thank you for believing, uh, believing or trusting us with your prayers. I understand that these are serious issues and we are so grateful that you trust us with your prayers. So I thank you, I thank you, I thank yes. you, I thank you, I thank you. All right, y'all, I pray that you guys have a blessed day. Thank you all, thank you all for believing in the God in us. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say us, because it's not us, it's him. Mm -hmm. But thank you all for trusting the God in us. Mm -hmm. To 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 just we we've um encountered and I say we because I feel like when y'all go through like when y'all asking us to pray like we in it we in it like to win it yeah. like we want to know the results what 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 happened you know I know you came out victorious but thank you all for trusting the God in us and and trusting us with your prayer request because we don't take that lightly even those hard things that you know you may not trust any and everybody with we have encountered some hard things with some people you know and we've ex i feel like we literally walk this thing out when people are going through when you're having these prayer requests especially those heavy ones you know um and i i just thank you all for being transparent being honest just being open sharing with us what what you're experiencing going through because i i really feel like this is a family mm -hmm. i really do i feel like how she'll respond. We have our own little, you know, thing going on. And we're just like, hey, when one of us is going through, or one of us need prayer, we're all jumping on it together. Um, just, just this past week when our sister jumped on and saying that her grandson, you know, what was going on with him, like everybody jumped on and like, no, we, we got to pray against this. And we appreciate you all for being so engaged and being a part of prayer and intercession. And, and because that's rare. So we appreciate all of you for just your love, your support, um, just, just being on with us, just being consistent. We really, really, really do appreciate all of your support. And just please, please continue to keep us in your prayers as we will do the same for you. Go okay, ahead, honey. All right, we're gonna we're gonna uh, leave. Good morning, Pastor. My pastor's Good morning, on this pastor morning. Ray. My pastor, my leader's on. Good to see you, Pastor. Thank you for dropping in on us. We're about to close, but thank God for my leader. Thank God for First Lady. I love these two individuals. I love my pastor. I love my First Lady. I love them dearly. I just want to thank you, Pastor. Just dropping in, dropping in on this morning. Oh, you gotta let them know my uh, Thursday will be okay. Uh, Thursday, I, Thursday will be the last broadcast for the year. Uh, then we go into the Christmas holiday, and then we'll be back on uh, the coming new, new, uh, new year. But, mm -hmm. We'll be back in January. We're going to be gone. Okay, January. Okay. We'll be back in February. Love you too, Pastor. Sometime in February, we will be back. So the whole month of January, we are going to be focused on just taking some time off. Okay? So Thursday will be our last live for the year publicly. I'll say that. If you're in the House Show Respond group, you might get some here and there. Hey. Yeah. All right. We're we're gonna be uh we're gonna go. Uh may God bless you. May God keep you. May God's face shine upon you. May he be gracious towards you. May favor be attached to your name today. How shall we respond? We respond by prayer. All right. We'll see you guys on Thursday, Lord's willing. God bless. Happy Monday. Holy Spirit activate. <laughs> you might need it. <laughs>